Hey, I hope everyone's had a great day, has done their NTI work and are ready for a little story. This is another one of our Mo Willems books um, because he's been so good about letting librarians and principals and teachers all share some things like that on Facebook. So it's called Al Al um, Amanda and Her Alligator. I do love his pictures too. Hooray for Amanda and Her Alligator. These are the books that I've used this week have been books that are in um, our library too. So make sure you all can see that. It is six and a half surprising stories about two surprising friends. Move so that we can, yeah, there you go. Y'all can see it a little better, I think, now. And there's the table of contents. Chapter one, a surprising surprise. Amanda was at the library getting her books for the week. Her alligator was not. He was waiting for Amanda to get back. I do not like when Amanda is gone, thought alligator. I am no good at waiting. Are you good at waiting? I'm not so good at waiting. He paced around the room. He fiddled with his tail. When Amanda comes home, we will have fun, thought Alligator. Maybe she will have a surprise for me. Alligator smiled. Finally, Amanda came back from to her room. Do you have a surprise for me, asked Alligator. Do you want a surprise, asked Amanda. He did. Do you think her surprise is books? Boo! yelled Amanda. Eek! yelled Alligator. You always bring home the most interesting surprises, said Alligator. <laughs> Chapter two, an unsurprising surprise. Amanda was reading her new library book, How to Raise a Tiger, when her alligator snuck into the room. He giggled. I have a surprise for you, said Alligator. Would you like it? She, he giggled some more. Is it you yelling boo, asked Amanda, uh, said Alligator. Not anymore. You'd better put on your old thinking cap if you want to surprise me, Amanda said as the alligator, <laughs> excuse me, as the alligator left the room. <laughs> he has a mad face. And that is just what Alligator did. It's his thinking cap. I like that thinking cap. Chapter two and a half, an extra surprise. Ooh, the thinking cap made him fall over. <clears throat> Alligator still had a perfectly good unused boo and no one to give it to. So he gave it to himself. Boo! Eek! <laughs> Chapter three, a surprising tickle. Ooh, it lit up. Amanda was reading her new library book, Whale Songs for Beginners, when her alligator came into the room. He was wearing his old thinking cap. Something tickles, said alligator. What tickles? asked Amanda. I do, yelled alligator, and he did. Good old thinking cap. <laughs> A surprising value. Amanda was reading her new library book, Climbing Things for Fun and Profit, when Alligator came into the room. He was not wearing his thinking cap when he said, something tickles. Yeah, that was a funny joke, said Amanda, but I'm not going to fall for it again. No, really, said Amanda. When, he, when friends say, no, really, they mean it. That should be a manner of the week, maybe. When your friends say, no, really, they mean it. Amanda helped her alligator find what was tickling. Something was attached to his tail. It's a price tag, said Amanda. Read it, read it, said Alligator. I've always wanted to know how much I was worth. Amanda read the tag. It said seven cents. Hmm. Seven cents, gasped Alligator. Why am I only worth seven cents? Amanda did not say anything. Tell the truth, said Alligator. When friends ask you to tell the truth, you tell the truth. You are in the sale bucket, said Amanda. I was in the sale bucket, said Alligator. Why was I in the sale bucker? bucket? Amanda told her Alligator the truth. No one wanted to buy you, she said. I'm afraid to ask what I must know, said Alligator. Why did you, why did no one want to buy me? 
Amanda told her alligator, no one wanted to buy you because they knew you were meant to be my best friend. After that, alligator felt better. And that's, what's that say? Oh, and that's the truth, sorry. A surprising solution, chapter five. Gurgle, gurgle. Amanda was reading her new library book, You Can Make Yourself Jetpacks, when she noticed her alligator chewing on her head. <laughs> Stop that, said Amanda. I'm bored, said Alligator. Have you said I'm bored in the last couple of days? I always say, oh, this is a good one, books beat boredom, said Amanda wisely. Alligator decided to give it a try. He went to the bookshelf. He looked at the book. He picked out a book. Well, what do you know, thought Alligator. Books do beat boredom. But Amanda's head tastes better. <laughs> he ate the book. Oh, a surprising discovery. Amanda was at the zoo with her grandpa. Her alligator was not. He was waiting for Amanda to get back. I do not like it when Amanda is gone, thought Alligator again. I am no good at waiting. He fiddled with his tail again. He tried to eat another book, but his heart just wasn't in it. Look, he has his little bib on and his fork and his knife there. When Amanda comes home, oh no, we will have fun, thought Alligator. We will sing silly songs. We will dress up. We will make discoveries. Maybe Amanda will have another surprise for me. Alligator smiled. Surprise, yelled Amanda, surprise, swinging open the door. Look what Grandpa got for me at the zoo. Oh dear. It was a panda. The panda was huge. The panda was fluffy. The panda did not look like it came from the sail bucket. Alligator did not like Amanda's surprise. Nice to meet you, said the panda. Whatever, replied Alligator. Oh, said Amanda, I have to go. Grandpa's taking me out to dinner. Amanda skipped out of the room. The panda looked around the room. What do we do now, she asked. We wait, replied Alligator. Alligator and the panda waited. After a very short wait, the panda suddenly barked, I am no good at waiting. I am better at singing silly songs or dressing up or making discoveries. Alligator looked at panda. That evening, alligator sang a silly song. That evening, panda dressed up. That evening, alligator made a discovery. He had a new friend. <laughs> the end. I like that one too, Amanda and her alligator. I think the books that she reads are funny, like you can make your own jetpack. I think that's funny too. So, All right, so tune in in the morning and see my morning meeting and uh, make sure that you're doing your NTI, get a good night's rest and do what your mom and dads tell you to do. Have a good evening. Thank you.